It's Reggae Media TV. The 2017 Grammy nomination revealed for the best reggae album category and there have been a lot of speculations in the dancehall and reggae fraternity since other artists album did well in 2016 such as Vibes Cartel, Alkaline and Agent Sasko just to name a few. Okay, so most of y'all might aware of the nominees for the best reggae album category but before I move forward, I'm just gonna run through it. So the nominees for the best reggae album category in the Grammy are Sly and Robbie with Devin the Doctor and JL with the album Reggae For Her, Ziggy Marley with the album Ziggy Marley, Raging Fire with the album Everlasting, Revolution with the album Fall Into, Play Fall Into Place, yeah. Soja with the album Live In Virginia and J Boog with Rose Petal. Now after this, a lot of people wondered how Vibes Cartel King of Dancehall album did not make the cut. There are mixed reactions about the nominees on social media but since the Billboard revealed an article yesterday with the headline Billboard 10 Best Reggae Albums of 2016, I guess some source close to Vibes Cartel or the world boss himself heard about it. Vibes Cartel official Instagram account finally respond to that. Vibes Cartel official Instagram account finally respond to the Grammy nomination in the best reggae album category. Me love the respond. Me love how Vibes Cartel and his team address the matter. Them just state the facts plain and straight without saying it was a bias, it was a bias nomination. You see it? Vibes Cartel official Instagram status update this morning stating No one in Jamaica knows j or Revolution. If no one in America knows you, can you be nominated for Hip Hop Grammy? No. Nigel, you sound like a house nigga. Alright, me don't know who that last part of the message I refer to when it say No Nigel, you sound like a house nigga, but this status is stating plain facts because J-Boog and Revolution, we not hear about them at Jamaica to that like how we hear about Vibes Cartel So simply, you not gonna hear about J-Boog and Revolution winning award out here like Vibes Cartel so Vibes Cartel just has stated vice versa if nobody in America knows you you can't get nominated for a Grammy yeah and Vibes Cartel state it as hip hop Grammy him not state it as reggae Grammy so overall Vibes Cartel I make you know say Grammy is not a reggae thing it is, it is not for reggae it is mainly for hip hop the hip hop community and him admit the fact that he is not major in America so you can't expect him to get a hip hop Grammy. That's why you can't compare a Vibes Cartel to a Sean Paul. Two totally different artists. Vibes Cartel is mainly for Jamaica and Sean Paul is more like in the pop community. Yeah, even though him do dancehall, him have that crossover style. And as far as me see it, Vibes Cartel feel comfortable with what he is doing. He love the Jamaica thing. He love the Jamaica style and the culture and everything. And that me notice about Vibes Cartel over the years of doing music. He just love that authentic Jamaican style. He done to earth stick to him roots. Vibes Cartel never have to stay in that lane you know. Him could easily go cross, do crossover songs, migrate or something. But through the love of the culture, Vibes Cartel just stay and go and do it. It's Reggae Media TV. After the Grammy revealed the nominees for the best reggae album category, a lot of people speculating whether or not it was a good selection. There are mixed reactions to this. The Grammys have released the nominees for the 2017 Best Reggae Album Grammy and it's a mix of familiar names and some new faces. The list includes Devin the Doctor and JL for Sly and Robbie Presents Reggae for Her, J Boog 
for Rose Petals. Ziggy Marley for Ziggy Marley, that's the name of his album. Raging Fire for Everlasting. Revolution for Falling into Place. And Soldier for Soldier Live in Virginia. It's like a case of a measure, my memory gone blank The doctor said maybe I will get it all back It would be lovely strolling down memory lane and all that But nobody would be happy with a little flashback you watch, I know. Dancehall artist Agent Sasko disappointed about not making the Grammy list Since the nominees for 2017 Grammy Awards in the Best Reggae Album category were released the list has stirred up some conversation among reggae fans. While some are happy to see the inclusion of young entertainers, others are furious that some names they were expecting did not make the final cut, particularly Agent Sasko, Vibes Cartel, and Alkaline. All of these artists, Alkaline, Agent Sasko, and Vibes Cartel, hit the Billboard reggae album chart with their album in 2016 so i guess that's the reason why their fans were looking forward to them getting a grammy nomination fans of the artist agent sasko took to social media to express their disappointment they dubbed it a snub by the grammy voting committee as they believe sasko's album theory of regativity was one of the best albums by an artist this year however both Vibe Scottel and Alkaline fans also express their disappointment as well on social media. Vibe Scottel and Alkaline have a very strong fan base online. People, this is Vibe Scottel and this is another installment of Vibe Scottel. Earlier this year, dancehall DJ Agent Sasko has scored his first charted album on the Billboard. Yeah. His latest effort theory of regativity released on his Sound Age Entertainment label debuts, debuted at number 3 on the Billboard Reggae Album chart. So after the Grammy reveal, the nominees for the Best Reggae Album category for 2017 and Agent Sasko fans expressed their disappointment on social media. Agent Sasko said in quotes and quotes, I appreciate people voicing their opinions about the album and I'm glad they love the album. Thank you for the support. The committee has made their decision and we have to accept it. Agent Sasko also promising to continue the hard work. Vibes Cartel King of Dancehall album debuted at number 2 on the Billboard Reggae album chart and it is the biggest first week sales for a dancehall artist since Beanie Man's Undisputed album in 2006. The album first week sales of 1867 copies was a good look for the DJ. And now Alkaline, he debuted on the Billboard Reggae album chart with his album New Level Unlock at number 1. Released by DJ Frost Records. It sold 741 copies in its first week according to Nelson Soundscan. Well, the artists who got nominated like Ziggy Marley, Raging Fire, J Boog and Soja. I don't know about Devin the Doctor and JL album as yet. I don't really get any full information on that album pertaining to sales and all of that. But the other artists, we know them album has sell a lot. Them album consistent when it comes to sales in reggae music. So I think them deserve this spot. More to surprise if Agent Sasko Vibes Cartel and Alkaline got nominated too because for them album the for them album the great on the chart it it did fairly well. I'm not going to lie, the artist who named J Boog who got nominated with his album Rose Petals in the best reggae album category for the Grammy his album sold like 432 copies in its first week and after the first week it fly up to over 2611 I know a lot of people have questions the matter why Vibes Cartel, Alkaline are 
Agent Sasko album don't get don't make the don't make the final cut. And Devin the Doctor album just released the other day in September, and that album got nominated for the Grammy. Me not think that album debut on the Billboard chart as yet. So I understand why Vibes Cartel, Agent Sasko and Alkaline fans furious about the matter. <laughs>